Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today we're going to be doing some cleaning, some decluttering. We're also going to be doing some selling. I have to clean out my car. Chase is working on the yard so we got lots to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off just by dry dusting. Um, we've had some really warm days around here and some really cold ones, but on the warm days I like to open up my door and my windows and I just feel like it brings in a lot of dust, um, especially right here by the door. So I wanted to just wipe down this furniture to make sure it was nice and clean. Um, and then I ran and grabbed my bar stool. It's been a while since I've cleaned this top window up here. I love this. I think it's so pretty and it brings in so much light, but I forget to dust it because I can't reach it. Um, while I was up there, I realized I have never cleaned this window with like Windex. Um, so I had Chase bring it into me. You're going to see him here in a second help me out so I didn't have to get down. Okay, and then once I was finished cleaning the inside of that window, I thought I might as well head to the outside and get it clean on both sides because I literally have never cleaned that. I think we've lived here over four years and I've never cleaned that window. So I probably should have done that a lot sooner. And then I'm gonna come in and go ahead and clean the window. So we don't have your normal peephole. We have like a peep window, which seemed so charming and sweet when we bought this house. But realistically, when somebody comes to your door, you don't want them to like see you. You just want to peek out. Um, so I don't open that much unless I'm just wanting light. In my last video, I mentioned we hide this little panda bear everywhere. So if you guys were wanting to see where it was, <laughs> um, she had stuck it in that little peephole and then I just stuck it on our old security system. But, so we have a new system now, but that was our old one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just work on dusting this windowsill and then cleaning off the windows. Those haven't been getting too dirty, but George does like to look out of them and his little nose puts imprints on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those wiped down. Now I'm going to head into our little dining room area. Our table doesn't need to be clean. I've already done that this morning, but this desk area I haven't worked on in a while. So I wanted to go ahead and clean off that little mirror that I have above the computer. So this is like Chase's workstation and Savannah's for homeschool so that I can have my office and do voiceovers and get stuff done. Um, I love having these clear chairs, but they do get fingerprints on them. So I just wipe them down occasionally so it doesn't look all smudgy. And then I'm going to grab just my dusting cloth again and work on these shutters. I don't feel like they get too dusty, but I like to wipe them down occasionally just since it's right there next to our dining room table. Another area that I've been forgetting to dust lately is this a gather sign. And so I thought I would just go ahead and get my long duster. This sign is actually super light. That gather part's almost like a really thick poster board. So it was super inexpensive, but it's perfect because it's up high. So you can't really tell the quality so much. And then why I had my long duster out, I thought I would go ahead and work on the clock and this vent. The vent I actually need to get my vacuum out for, but at least I got some of the loose um, dust off of it and then these pictures. But now we're gonna head into my beauty room. I've been decluttering lately. I talked about this in a few videos ago. So I have my pile of stuff back here, of uh, things I wanna sell. So I'm gonna be talking about that here in a second, but I'm gonna go through my closet first and make sure there's nothing else. I want to thank Makari for sponsoring today's video. Um, I've worked with them in the past and I've also used their app on some other occasions just to sell some items around my house to make extra money. So I wanted to share them with you guys right now while we're all safe at home and we're all decluttering. We might as well make some extra cash and it's so easy to do. If you look at the right side of the screen, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a post right from your phone 
and you're gonna be seeing me stage the items. I feel like staging your photos goes a long way. You're gonna sell for more money and you're gonna sell faster. So definitely put some extra thought and time into when you're making those posts and make sure you have good lighting. You can also double up like items. So if you have two of the same style of shirt, you can put those together and that really helps out when you're selling. You can also offer free shipping or you can have them pay. But I feel like this is just a great way while we're all at home to make some extra money. You can sell like home decor, clothes, Clothes, shoes, purses, you name it. I've sold all of those and made over $400 during my time using their app. Um, another really cool feature is they tell you to do your shipping through USPS because you can schedule a pickup through them so you don't even have to leave your house. And you can sanitize the items before you put it in. I'm gonna be doing that for you guys. And then you can leave it on your front porch and somebody will come pick it up and take it for you, which I think is amazing right now. So definitely go down below in my description box and download their free app so you can get to selling. And once you have that free app downloaded, you can definitely search for my closet. Just search till back vacuum do us part and it'll bring my store up and you can shop all these goodies that are in my closet. A lot of them are brand new or I've only worn once. I just had to have them and then I never got to around to wearing them. So I definitely want to share them with you guys. So don't forget to shop my closet and thanks again to Makari for sponsoring today's video. I think this is an awesome service for us right now just to make money while we're all stuck at home. Make out a thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now, never let this end. Okay, now that I have all these photos taken, I'm gonna go ahead and just fold all these up and then I'm gonna keep them together so it just doesn't get put anywhere else or get hung back up and I don't realize what I'm selling. So I like to just keep all these items together. I've been needing to refill my Thieves bottle, my cleaner bottle, um, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it on camera for you guys because I always get a lot of questions when I use this brown spray bottle. It's actually glass and that's what you need to use if you're going to be using the Thieves Concentrate. You can order this from their website. I just had a really sweet friend send it to me to try it out and I absolutely love it and I love the smell. Um, I'm going to make like a stronger version of it, so I'm going to do three capfuls and then all you do is fill it up with water. So so it's super easy, super simple. Um, I know the concentrate's kind of expensive, but it lasts forever because you only need three, you know, two to three capfuls to make that one bottle. But if you're gonna make this, remember to get these glass bottles um, just because it's a lot safer for it. But I absolutely love this product. I ordered my bottles from Amazon, so I do keep those in my Amazon store if you're looking to buy some. Um, it comes in a two pack and I think it's so pretty. You can actually even have labels made that says like Thieves or Thieves Cleaner. I need to get those one day because I think it's so pretty on the bottle. But now I'm going to go ahead and grab a rag and then I needed to clean kind of just around in my refrigerator. I was not going to take everything out. I was not in the mood, but just different drawers and different areas where we're touching or food's falling, I wanted to go ahead and wipe out. Now the next thing I'm gonna work on are my white pillows in here. White pillows and George or Puppy do not go together. I need to replace these, but I can't do that right now because we can't go shopping and ordering pillows online is so expensive. So I'm waiting until Ross opens up to get more. But in the meantime, I've just been throwing them in the washer and that definitely helps. 
So these even have like little decorative balls on them and they do just fine. If you see that some balls are missing, that's not from my washer, that's from George, <laughs> shocking. Um, he had done so well not chewing and then we went outside in the front yard and he got left and Tiger made his way out and he was not happy with us. So he chewed all the balls off one side of that pillow. But I'm just taking a shout and spraying all over them, especially the parts that have gotten a little dirty. Um, I always put my shout just in an old method bottle with a chalkboard label. I just think it's prettier, but all it is is your normal shout. And I clearly need to get more. I'm almost out. So I'll be adding that to my next grocery pickup. But I just cram them down in there and I run it like normal. I do have it set on delicate, but this does clean them really well and makes them smell fresh. So if you're stuck at home and can't buy pillows either, you can definitely clean yours. So I noticed my washer and dryer were looking a little dirty and dusty and I had like a dirty rag in there from cleaning so I thought I would go ahead and wipe them down. Um, it also clicked to me that I had an old method bottle up there that I had never completely used and I was just hanging on to it so I dug it out. I have not used method in so long just because I've been loving Jaws but this is like the lavender method and it actually smelled really good and it's just nice to have a cleaner in here when I need to wipe things down real quickly. So that's all I'm gonna do is just get these nice and clean. I'm also gonna wipe down those cabinets up top. They get super dirty at the bottom where our hands are. They're super tall, but the top of them don't get that dirty just cause they're not getting touched. It's just mainly like where our hands will hit them. So I headed outside to go ahead and start cleaning the inside of my car, but I noticed a chase was about to edge. There is something so satisfying. I did this in my last video with all the sawdust, so I thought you guys might want to watch him edge. I just feel like when you mow your yard, edging is just like the cherry on top. You shouldn't even mow unless you're gonna edge. We actually haven't even mowed yet. We spray for weeds, so our grass just isn't that bad, but he wanted to go ahead and just clean up all the edges. And then I like to sweep when he's done. Um, we do have a blower, but I, to me, just sweeping is very calming and relaxing. And it's like a little mini arm workout. So you're gonna see me just go ahead and clear off the driveway. Every change has a If you guys are new, that's our shed right there. And it used to be in the back of our yard, but our yard kept flooding, so we moved it towards the front. I'm gonna be doing a DIY project on that kind of by the end of this month. I'm hoping to put it up around April 30th, but we're gonna be painting it and just sprucing it up and kind of bringing it back to life. Since it's up next to our house, I kind of want to make it match. So we're going to be painting it black and white and just doing a lot of decor and just making the outside um, just more curb appeal friendly. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you're not subscribed, we have a lot of home projects that we're working on and I would love to have you guys just join along and watch those with us. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. Okay, now we're gonna work on just getting the inside of my car clean. The outside's actually pretty clean. I had it parked out the other day and it was pouring raining, so it actually looks like it got like a mini car wash. But we have been bad about just like taking drives and we'll take snacks with us or like eat little picnics in the car just to get out of the house. So there's been a lot of crumbs in here, especially the back seat where Savannah eats. So I just wanted to vacuum it out. We do use a shop vac um, to vacuum. I feel like those are so nice to have. I've mentioned them in my last video. They have small ones if you're in an apartment. If you have a home, you can get a big one, but they're just so helpful and have so much like suction power, way better than if you were to just like use your vacuum. And I know a lot of us can't go to car washes right now and you definitely shouldn't be, especially the vacuums because too many people would be touching them. So you could order one of these off Amazon and then you can vacuum your car anytime you need to. And I know most of you are moms watching and our floors and carpets and all of that gets so dirty. You can use this inside your house. You can use it even on wet items. So if you don't have one of these, it would definitely make a great gift for your husband and then you can use it when you need it.
So as you can see, I'm just hitting all the seeds. It really helps if you like pull back where the creases are because a lot of crumbs get stuck in there. You may not see them because they're so tight, but as soon as you like pull back that crease, you can suck it out a little bit easier. And then I also like to do where our feet hit, um, anywhere there's even a dust. So you guys know how to vacuum your car. I'm just gonna do it real quickly. So next time we get into it, it's nice and clean. Now I'm gonna grab this armor wall. This is what I clean the inside of my car with. I love it. I picked this one up at Ross apparently, but you can order on Amazon. You can do it um, at Walmart if you're going there to get groceries or doing pickup. I'm sure most of us have this on hand. We love just to keep all of our car cleaning supplies on hand so we don't have to go pay to wash our car. Then when we have a pretty day, we can just run out there, grab what we need. Um, and get our cars clean and it's so much cheaper. You know, you have to buy the supplies up front, but they last you forever and then you can have your car clean as much as you want and save money and not feel bad about it. So I'm just using like these blue paper towels. Chase uses them to like change the oil, but you could also use a rag as well or an old t-shirt or cloth and I just spray it onto the rag and then I wipe it down and it just kind of brings life back to my leather and makes it shiny and fresh again. Now I'm gonna clean all my windows because you guys know if you have kids, these do not stay clean for any reason. It's like they just eat like cupcakes in the back of our car and just wipe off the windows like it's a napkin. Or maybe that's just my child and I feel like I have a super clean child, but there are always fingerprints. So I like to go ahead and get these wiped off. I'm in love, deep in love with you, baby, yeah. Cause your love is exceptional. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna be heading back inside to switch out the pillows. So if you wanna see how those turned out, definitely don't click off yet. We're almost to the end of video, but I don't want you to miss those pillows. Okay, now I'm gonna head into my laundry room and I'm gonna go ahead and switch these over. They do not take long to dry at all. Um, I do the normal setting. Um, I know some people say do not use heat, but I use them and they haven't shrunk in any way, shape or form. I leave them in there for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I take them out and they are good to go. I did not lose any balls. There was not any in my dryer or my washer, so they held up just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those back. It really makes your living room smell so clean and fresh. I do use laundry softener and so it just makes everything smell like fresh laundry. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna thank Makari again for sponsoring today's video. If you guys need to make some extra cash while you're stuck at home, this is definitely the time. I'm gonna leave um, their link down below in my description box, so definitely check it out and head on over and see all the things I have for sale. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I did wanna let you guys know we're gonna try to put together another home updates for this Sunday's video, so definitely be on the lookout for that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.